Hey everyone, we already know who wins the Ballon d'Or in 2022, but who do you think will win it next year? While we begin a new release, please click the like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get the show started. Thierbert Courtius returned to the first team training. He could be available for the weekend fixture against Sevilla. I never won the World Cup with a group of buddies. Such things are still to come. It's on, Karim Benzema said. Barcelona are negotiating with any country for Ignacio Akipia, who is renowned as a backup to first choice Mark Andre to Stegen. Zinedine Zidane argues that if you can't appreciate Benzema's greatness, you don't understand football. Gonzalo Higuain appeared in his first game. His Miami club lost to New York City in the MLS playoffs quarterfinals. Diogo Jota hurt his calf muscle and will miss the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Paul Pogba has returned to Juventus training and may soon be able to play for the old lady. Mbappe I don't know about the future, Carl Squadron Exui says, but we have Vinny Rodrigo, Valverde and Camavinga, who have already written the history of our club. Graham Potter has asked Chelsea to sign Brighton's Leonard Trossard. He knows the Belgian from his time at the Seagulls training camp. Nain Golan was suspended indefinitely from Antwerp after smoking on the bench. Previously, he had issues with the same behaviour in Roma and the Belgian national team. I never talked to Cristiano Ronaldo to come here, never, says Diego Simone of Cristiano Ronaldo's visit to Atalanta Lynx. Alexander Isaac of Newcastle United will miss the rest of the season due to a thigh injury sustained during a training session. Dennis Zachariah, according to Graham Potter, there has been no decision. Dennis has been training hard and is eager to assist the club. There is no discussion of anything. He's a valuable member of the team. He has been patiently waiting for his opportunity. Mourinho Diaz, Real Madrid's forward, has suffered a minor injury during a training session. He will be out for several weeks. Chelsea has offered Uringo a new deal with the same introductory conditions of roughly £120,000 per week. Barcelona has agreed on favourable personal terms with Athletic to sign Ligo Martinez as a free agent in the summer of 2023. He will take over from Gerard Piquet, who is set to leave Blower Grana. Juan Laporte and the rest of the board of directors have complete faith in Xavi. They believe in his project and do not want to fire him. The last round of the 2023 under 21 Euro Championship was held yesterday. The results we are showing in the photo. Barcelona saved 125 million euros on Antoine Griezmann's salary after selling him to Altacito Madrid. Barsis joined Ansu Fati in February as the ideal substitute for Jack Grealish, whose performances have frustrated a serious coaching staff and fans. To heal from a thigh injury as rapidly as possible, Paolo De Bella is employing a technique previously employed by Rafael Nadal, Kobe Bryant and Tiger Woods. He hopes to be fully recovered in time for the start of the 2022 World Cup. Rafael Leo was named the Series A's top player, while Stefano Pioli was named Series A's best coach for the 2021 season. Angola Kante will be out for four months with a hamstring injury, according to Chelsea. He will almost certainly miss the World Cup in 2022. Jamal Musiala and Judd Bellingham had a better season than Gotti, says Gotti, according to Julian Nagelsmann. Former Liverpool defender John Flanagan, 29, has been forced to retire from professional football. His most recent club was HBKG of Denmark. He has also played for Rangers and Burnley. During the game against Man City, Jurgen Klopp was accused of using vulgar words against the officials. He was given the red card. Erling Holland's clause has been released. To be honest, I had no idea. At Real Madrid, we have the best players in the world, Florentino Perez remarked. Rodrigo de Paul is set to leave Altacito Madrid in January. Many Serie A clubs, include Milan, Juventus and Inter, are already interested in his services. AC Milan directors met with Rafael Lego agents to discuss extending his contract, which expires in the summer of 24. There is no other option for me than to retire with Real Madrid, according to Karim Benzema. After the clash versus Victoria Poulsen, ancient Milan administrators will meet with Milan's Greeners agents to discuss the terms of a new contract. Real Madrid and Barcelona were both keeping a close eye on Bayern Munich left-back Alfonso Davis's position. I believe a goalie will never win the Ballon d'Or. You win La Liga and the Champions League, your team triumphs because of your saves, and you only came in seventh. I am Curtis took note. 
PSG have urged Kylian Mbappe to issue a statement stating that he has no plans to leave despite the fact that the Frenchman wishes to leave the Reds and Blues. Former Borussia DA Ajax and Lyon coach Peter Boz could take over as manager of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Top league football fixtures, for example, do not cease coming. Here are the results from yesterday. Moving on to the main event below are the results. The audience was shocked by the figure of the new world winner Karim Benzema, who chose not to wear a bandage as a little but no less compelling element from the Ballon d'Or 2022 ceremony. I assumed he wore the hand to peck because it was cool. You can tell me why Karim Benzema has a bandage on his hand. Must be in a lot of agony, other Twitter users speculated. In truth, Benzema suffered a similar injury during a match in 2019. However, Karim refused to have surgery in order to continue assisting Real Madrid at the most crucial period of the season. The Frenchman's finger has been irreversibly deformed since then. Tammy Abraham, a striker for Roma, could return to the Premier League in the summer. Man Yu, who are aggressively hunting for a new high-quality finisher, have already expressed strong interest in the Red Devils that will try to sign him this summer. Barcelona is looking to sign a new central midfielder in January, who will be a straight replacement for Sergio Busquets. The right flank of the defence may still be the key priority in the summer. The most attractive option comes from Man U. Furthermore, Bars intend to offer Dembele a new contract, but if it takes too long this month, it may make a final decision. He will be up for transfer too. It's no news that Luis Enrique will step down as Spain's head coach after the 2022 World Cup. Furthermore, he will take a sabbatical from his profession, but if the current manager does not get things right and fails at the end of La Liga season, he could be replaced in the summer. Enrique had previously coached Barcelona from 2014 until 17. The Kotlins won the Championship League and La Liga thrice during his tenure. Manchester United have decided on the price of €80 million Euros that they are willing to pay for young Barcy Matilda Franklin in the summer. The Dutchman is satisfied with his recent game's minutes, and Barcelona is not opposed to up in the salary cap. Surprisingly, the parties may be able to strike a deal here. Chelsea and Liverpool are also keeping tabs on the footballer. Matilda and N'Golo Kante of Chelsea's central defence are expected to become free agents in the summer. Turin, on the other hand, will have been a beat off the other clubs in order to sign N'Golo. We are discussing PSG Barcelona and Man U. During the Neymar Keys trial in Barcelona, Real Madrid president Florentino Perez spoke about his curiosity in the Brazilian player when he was still playing in Santos. Real Madrid made a bid to Santos for Neymar in 2011. I believe it was 45 million. Despite this, Neymar stated that he has always wanted to play for Barcelona. My desire has always been to play for Barcelona, he said. Since I was a child, I wanted to play there and have always followed my heart. I had the option to play for Real Madrid, but I chose to stay with Barsac. We strongly advise you watch videos from our other projects. Sports Insider Channel is there for you. Have a good one and I'll see you in a minute.